Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review for the Robert Zemeckis film collaboration review series. Today we're reviewing What Lies Beneath, the um, horror thriller film directed and produced by Rob Zemeckis in 2000. So What Lies Beneath came out in 2000, the same year that um, Zemeckis did Cast Away, but this was the first film to be released. And it's a bit of a different film for him because if you've seen any of his previous films before this, they're more adventure or sci-fi type films on a much larger scale, whereas this film is a bit... It seems more like it was a smaller budget, just passion project type film. And I think this film kind of went under the radar a bit. I don't think it's very popular, but I think it's very underrated because in my opinion, it's a very good horror thriller film. It's got a really interesting story and a few good twists throughout the film that you're not really expecting. In the leading roles stars Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer, and they play husband and wife in the film. And Michelle Pfeiffer's character, Claire, she's kind of like a housewife, but her daughter has just gone off to college. so. While her husband's off at work all day, she's kind of just around the house. But um, she starts noticing a lot of strange things beginning to happen. Nothing really supernatural at first, just um, a few strange things around the house. So Claire's been spying on the neighbours as well. There's these new neighbours who have moved in next door, and she thinks they're kind of a bit sus. So um, she's been watching them for a while as well. And the wife goes missing for a while, I think, or she goes somewhere, and um, she thinks that the husband killed her. So she's kind of on that story for a while. But we also find out that um, Claire was in a car accident about, I think it was about a year earlier than when the f events of the film take place. So her husband isn't really taking everything she's saying seriously. He kind of thinks that she's a bit uh, mentally unstable in a few ways. And a lot of this film has to do with a bathroom and a bathtub. And it says the tagline is, it would, this movie will do for you what Psycho did for showers. And it kind of does in a way. You see the reflection of this ghost of this girl who died um, in the reflection of the bathwater. And Michelle Pfeiffer's character Claire is interested in this girl's death. She died a year earlier and it's connected to her husband somehow. So Harrison Ford plays the husband, Dr. Norman Spencer. And he seems like just your usual husband in the film. But there are quite a few twists towards the end of the film that you're not really expecting involving his character. I'm not going to say too much on what happens at the end because there's a lot of spoilers you could give away with this film. A lot of things that you might not really see coming. So I don't want to spoil that for anyone who hasn't seen it. But it's quite an interesting film because Claire doesn't remember why she was in this car accident a year earlier, how it happened, and um, so it's kind of about her discovering that, about what happened and how it's all linked to her husband and how it's linked to this the death of this other girl who she's seeing the ghost of. So I think it's a very well written film, the story is very unique. I think it was a very underrated film, I think because most people are expecting more big budget adventure or action or science fiction type films from Rob Zemeckis, but I did think that this was one of his better films. I think that Harrison Ford did really well in his role, but he's always a great actor, and Michelle Pfeiffer also, she did really well in her role, and she's more so the main character of the film. It also had a fantastic soundtrack by Alan Silvestri, I really like his music, and he's composed for, I think, all of um, Rob Zemeckis' movies, but it's just a really eerie, creepy, cool soundtrack that goes along quite well with the film. So that's about all I can say about the movie without trying to spoil any of it. I really recommend you see it if you're into Rob Zemeckis' films, or if you're into horror thriller films, or you like Harrison Ford or um, Michelle Pfeiffer. So that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I'll be back in a few days, maybe a week or so, with the next review in the series, and that'll be for Castaway, which came out in 2000 also. So thanks for watching this review. You can go back through my channel and Miss Christine 94s channel and check out some of the previous reviews in this series. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.